so here we are again wearing the same clothes because this is now number three it's just Who so much to talk about line. right but there's so much to talk about i'm having so much fun i yeah. gotta tell you i'm really enjoying this yeah again. me too really it's really crazy. Am. It's crazy so in this this video we are going to do a couple more watches that we've got left and then some pens yep. And yeah. some cufflinks, crazy cufflinks. Yeah, got to talk about that. And Again, with your theme of matching things and making a style statement, which a lot of men don't do. I do, you clearly do. I think it's important. Men have very few jewelry options. That's true. And so you really want to work with what you got. That's exactly right. That's the way I think, too. Yeah. So who's going to start, you or me? Why don't you start? Okay, let's go back in the box. Okay, I'm going to show you something crazy. Yeah. I have seen this piece before in one of your previous videos, and I was fascinated. Isn't it fun? Yeah, and it also told me a little bit about the way you collect. You're going after some really interesting dials. This I mean, is that fun, That is right? a crazy dial. So this yeah, watch... how much that piece cost? So, I don't actually know. It's about somewhere in the region of twenty-two to $25,000. This is a piece unique. Um, it's stamp piece unique on the back. This was made for me by Constantine Jakin. Really? And it never shows the same face twice. So the tongue is the moon face and it moves constantly. And then I'm going to show you this. I don't know if you'll be able to see Adam, um, but oh, that's it nuts. makes crazy faces. The left hand is the hour and the right hand is the minute. So, so this goes around in a minute? So th this is one minute. Yeah. And the one on the right, on the left, is the hour. That's fantastic. And it, you know, it never, it never I makes mean, the same. You know, face. that is a clearly you're not going to see that anywhere else. Isn't that fun? Yeah, that's nuts. And this is um, not the Joker. This one is called the Clown because the nose has the round clown in the middle, and you see piece of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this band is crazy. Check it out. It's wearing a bow tie. Yeah, I, that is just. Did that you notice that? I don't no, know. I didn't. So it's not a bow tie, it's a regular tie. <laughs> yeah, it's like a full suit. It's, a, it's wearing hilarious. a suit. Yeah, it's hilarious. That is really, really I've never seen that. fun. That and really it's sewn in. It's actually sewn into the strap. Fantastic. Isn't that a fun piece? Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. Crazy. And this piece here, this one here, you press it and that's what changes the, yeah. the, the tongue position. I love it because. I've never seen it and I won't see it again. Those to me are the best, best watches. Right, and imagine you put a red strap on one of these. Yeah. Now, do you fun. wear that a lot? Do you get, you get out with that? I, I wear it sometimes. Um, I have a lot of watches. And, yeah. and my, my big issue is they live in the bank. I know, so I have I, the same issue. So what I try and do is say, let's take a month worth of watches. I'm not out. allowed to do that. Really? No. So Two watches, that's it. My that's deal it. is I want, because and I always travel with about eight. I often will wear three pieces in a day. I'll do, till noon, switch for the afternoon, and then the night piece. I right. know that sounds crazy. No, it's not but, crazy. But, I, I like that. You know, I have to tell you a story. Um, nope. Maybe I shouldn't even laugh about this, but uh, I have a, a place on a lake that's two hours from the city, and I was driving back from the lake with my wife very recently. And she said, look, I've got you captive here for a couple hours. I want to talk about something. And I said, I was expecting some very bad news. She said, I have somebody I want you to go see about your watch addiction. I said, you must be kidding. What are you talking about? She said, what you're doing, Kevin, is is sick. Like, <laughs> like a doctor? Like, like it, you're, you're buying too many watches. Like, you have, you don't need any more watches. Do you, do you find yourself looking online all the time? All the time. I, all do the time. I do too. I have to hide it when yeah. I'm doing it. <laughs> and she said, Kevin, you have to stop. It doesn't make sense. It, clearly, it's there's something wrong because why would you buy another watch? And I said, Linda, I, I really like watches. It's the one thing that I really like. You have a lot of things you like, but I don't tell you to go see a shrink. Right. And she said, no, but you have a problem. This is a form of addiction. I said, you're serious? She said, yeah, I am. Oh my gosh. And, I, now, and so I know I'm, I've gone off the deep end because it happened when I brought home this recently. When you have the same one. Yeah, the same one. She said, you have that watch. Why did you buy that again? I said, no, I don't have this watch. <laughs> I have one that looks like this watch. There's one millimeter <laughs> smaller. <laughs> and she said, that's, that's it. That, that's, that's a disease. <laughs> so, anyways, I mean, it's, it's a crazy story, but true. Let's go to another disease I have. Okay. F. P. Jorn. Great disease. Yeah. So I brought two pieces because I both wore them this season on Shark Tank. Now, um, 
you know, I don't if you've heard about this watch. This is a, a, a theory, a, phys a theory of physics. There's two separate movements, but be so, because they're so close together, they actually go into harmony together. The resonance, it's called. It's a very um, eclectic piece that Jorn makes. Um, you, you basically wind it. It's a manual wind. You have two different, a 24-hour and a 12-hour. This face is so crazy. A power reserve here. Uh, it obviously hasn't been wound yet, but let me get it going. And then what you do is you, you get you take this button, pull it out, and these two minute hands all of a sudden go oh, into wow. sync. And because they're beside each other, although they're not connected, they're in harmony. Wow. And they stay in harmony while the watch is wound. Isn't that amazing? That is incredible. Yeah. Never seen that before. Yeah, it's in a crazy piece. Of course, I know so FP Jean, which is, which is a, a fabulous brand. Yeah, it is. Fabulous brand, I don't own any. Well, I have to fix that, that's crazy. But they're really hard to get. But Jorn himself and Pierre, his partner, um, Chanel bought 10% of Jorn recently, so he would have some kind of a transition. But these watches are pieces beautiful of piece. Beautiful piece, beautiful yeah. piece. Now, this Jorn is legendary because of its blue dial. Now, I went to visit the dial factory. Oh, what's this made? made of? Sorry to interrupt you. Well, you know it's a very rare metal, right? Tantalum, right? Exactly. Yeah, because you wouldn't think it's very Most heavy makers will it. not work with this metal. It's too difficult. Right. But let me tell you about that dial. So I went to the dial factory without FP was not there. I wanted to meet the actual people making the dials. And the woman told me that was taking these out of the oven, she said, FP rejects a third of these dials. Even that's like Jacob. Yeah. It's, that's why I'm saying they're both yeah. cut from the same cloth. Yeah. They're both nuts. I said, you, you spend all this time and money to make a dial and he rejects it? He looks at it with a microscope and rejects it. So, but that's what makes it so special. Yeah, that's a perfect dial and the rumor has it, why this watch went so crazy in value, is that it's worn by Putin. Oh. That's the rumor. How much is this watch? It's, it's not their most expensive piece. I think 17,000, but you can't get one. You know, so it's worth a lot more. It is, the secondary market's way up, but the, the way to get involved, the, I, I learned about Jorn from my, my, my friend of the Royal Family, UAE, and I went to their um, boutique, and that night, just by chance in New York, they are having their annual Jorn Society dinner. And he said, Kevin, you're interested in Jorn, why don't you be my guest at the dinner? You're going to have to wear a Jorn, I'll lend you mine for the night. And I met the craziest people in the world. <laughs> the craziest people in the world. That's why the watch addiction thing is so much fun because yeah, that's nowhere why I, else could that happen, that, right? And that's, you know, I, I, it, it, nowhere else could it happen. I met physicists, I met doctors, brain surgeons, uh, you know, artists. A lot of nerds. A, a lot of nerds, a lot yeah, of crazy yeah. nerds. But I got so infected that night that I went back the next day and I talked to the manager and I said, I need a journal. Right. And they were making only 10 watches for that dinner, the famous 10, Journe 10, just 10 of them, a New York version of Journe. And I said to the manager, I want to buy one of the 10. And she said, it's impossible. You're a new guy. Right. You don't even Not have on the list. It. Not on the list. Right. So I met, and I met up with Pierre in Miami and I got my knees and said, Pierre, what is it going to take to get one of the, the New York 10? And he said, Kevin, you don't even... You don't even have a journey. You're not going to start with one of the 10. There's 1,500 people that want that watch. And I said, okay, Pierre, I'll buy four right now. Oh, gosh. And we went to dinner, and I bought four journeys at once, as long as I could get one of the 10. That's amazing. Yeah, that's what happened. That's I've amazing. never that's done that. one of it? This is one of them, yeah. yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful piece. It's an amazing face. But that's I, a great I, story. I, I made a commitment to the, the mark. I made a commitment. But, but there's more to just buying watches than buying watches. Yeah, but there's he knew I was a collector. Everything that goes along with it, it, it's, it becomes a family. I, mean, I, I think he respected me for, for the, because he knew of me and my collecting and the fact that I didn't have one. I told him how I learned about the brand and we had that dialogue because he didn't have to sell me. Right. That, that one of the New York right. 10. And whenever I go to New York with that watch to the Jorn membership meetings, people go crazy. Just to touch, because they're only going to be 10. And they're going to do that for each boutique. So I'm going to run around the world trying to buy one for each. You know, yeah. it's, going to be, it's going to be nuts. But, right. I, I, that, but I love that. Now, I've shown you all I've got. These are the Shark Tank watches for season 12. 
I thought might be fun to compare pens. I've got one more watch to show you. Oh, let's do it. One more watch, only because it's a fun one and it's also one of my favorite watches. I'm going to show you this one. And you tell me, is that factory or is that not factory? Well, first of all, this is the legendary rainbow, of which I have one. And I will say that this watch is a... When people see this, they say it's not factory, it's tricked out. Right. Why? Because it has way too many stones. But I know this is real. Yeah. I know this is made by Rolex. This is... There's a lot of telltale giveaways. Yeah, there are. The stones, the perfect gradients of the stones, the perfect way the stones are mounted into the bracelet. I mean, I mean, this is a piece of art. I mean, it's just an absolute... Wow, this you must one get one of my favorite watches. Yeah, you I must get a ton of people talking about that piece. Fun watch, right? Yeah, I do. You know, I had to wait a long time to get my first rainbow. A long time. I had to show. You can't my get this watch. I know. It took you a long time. Do but you know, it's become the most popular watch with athletes, star athletes, particularly in the NBA. So everybody wants their rainbow. They continually demand to get a rainbow. Right. They want to wear them just before the game. Can you still get them? Do they still make it? They don't, you know, they don't even talk about it. Once in a while, one comes to market. Once in a while, Rolex has one in inventory that magically appears. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's like the ghost watch. I know. It's the they're trading they do for, it deliberately, they're don't they? They're a hundred something thousand, right? To buy yeah, about one hundred and thirty, I think. Yeah. Retail, and they're trading at three hundred. More. Yeah. I, mean, they're, they're, I think they're over four now. So yeah. I mean, it's m mine is in a special vault, a special place. Do you wear it? I do, and you know what I've done? I've left it a link large, so it hangs like a like a bracelet. Nice. It's loose. Nice. It's loose, and you know, I, it's very difficult to wear that watch on business network television because it's so ostentatious. It's, so, it's fun. I know. I know. <laughs> you know, I, I showed up once on a cable news channel. We'll see which one. And the producer came running and saying. <laughs> I said, no, I like this watch. He said, are you really? going to wear that on TV? Really? You can't have it dripping in diamonds on business television. But it's not ostentatious I, I in, know, the way I know, of, I know. in the way of, but oh my goodness in the end, me, I it's put, fun. I, I had to take it off because it's, but you have to appreciate the tensions of what does that say about you, Michael? What is that saying about you? It says I couldn't give a damn. I like that. Right, that's what it I says. Like it says I couldn't Other give a damn. people may say that's ridiculous display. I just think it's ostentatious. How dare you? It matches anything you ever wear because it's got every color in yeah. the rainbow, yeah. right? It matches today, you know, right? And I, I, just I, I say to people that criticize me for that watch, I say, I celebrate the art in making this piece. And if I elect to spend my money buying art, why do you care if it's a Picasso or it's a rainbow? It's art. Can I steal that? Yes, you can. Okay, I like because that. Because you I'm have to. Use what it. other defense do you got? And I say it's art. The watchmaker that made that spent probably six months. Beautiful piece, right? Yeah, it's fantastic. But you do, you will get criticized for that piece, and that is your defense. I like it. Yeah, I'll use it. All right. Let okay, me, pens. Let, let's get pens, and, and let's talk about why pens. Okay, I've got some oh, pens too. My legs are stiff. Okay. Here, this was also for you, which I will give you as well. Oh, that's it's, great. It's an N95 Jacob, Jacob mask. You made an N95. That's fantastic. Yeah, I like to wear that around, that's great. Okay, so the whole idea of watches is, particularly for Shark Tank, is to try and get watch pieces that match um, the red, you know, pocket square I wear on a black suit. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Are you a big pen collector? I am. I have a, do you have the addiction as you do with watches? Not the same, but I buy, what I do with watches is I buy very rare pieces and make them corporate gifts. For example, this is a JFK Mont Blanc. It's out of production. I have inventory. I have two of these in the original boxes. So on a big deal with somebody or something I want to celebrate, I'll take the whole box out and give them the JFK. The JFK is, is, looks like a rocket, actually, because he Amazing. remember the, the moon launch. It's oh, a, that is beautiful. You see the little red affectations that picks up on my red bands? It's perfect. That is absolutely gorgeous. So that is a fantastic piece, out of production, and can't get one. But when so when they offer me pieces, I say, how many can I buy now? I'm, right, I'll, I'll right. take down three or four or five. Um, celebrating the Beatles, also a rare piece. They got the Beatles license from Yoko Ono, and they did a very rare, <laughs> this is a dial from a console, you know, that's so cool. Yeah. Nib piece. Very nice. Fantastic. 
Very, very nice. I like that. Yeah. That's fun. They had to work with Yoko Ono to get this thing done. Which I'm sure wasn't easy. No, it wasn't easy. This is also from the psychedelic Beatle era, a ballpoint, Sgt. Pepper's days. See, and that would drive me crazy. Because you... Yeah. It, it's but hard let, to look if at. If you want to talk about a watch on television and, a, you know, tying to a pen, it's this one. I mean, you take something with a red band, I mean, you're, you're, you're getting married there, right? Yeah, right, you are. It's just abs anything. absolutely fantastic. Feel that, feel that pen. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it feels and great. Then the very sexy Marilyn Monroe, it was designed to look like her high heel, her stiletto heel. I see heel. that. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. You feel the Mont Blanc movement in that. Again, a collecting piece. Beautiful. And it works so well with it, let's say a Vacheron. Mont Blanc make the finest pens. They, they do. There's, they do. They, they have, they, even you know, there were so many different makers for a while in Switzerland, but they just emerged with the design, you know, that... that Precision. Yeah. Everything they do. And they're, they're German. Just Beautiful. Just fantastic. Um, um, can I just ask for people at home that may not know the value of pens, what, what are we talking about? For okay, these? so let's, let's look at this. We're going to talk about value of pens. Look at this. This probably took two years to make, uh, sponsored obviously by Mont Blanc, that's a diamond at the tip, a really rare nib, but it's this lacquer work on this and this inlaid gold. This is a, a one of a kind watch. It's about $37,000. Is it really? Yeah. Look at how beautiful that is. S superb. You know, Lori Grenier feels was sitting, so good. Yeah, it's feels beautiful. So Lori Grenier was sitting beside me on Shark Tank, um, and she said, "What is that? I mean, what is that? Where did you get that?" And I told her the story. There's a story of life and death, life and death, you know, etched into this in Japanese. I mean, it is such an amazing piece, and it, it's got such a television vibe to it. Can't go wrong. It's, it's but you got to gorgeous. Make, yeah, when you carry these pens, you've got to make sure you don't scratch them. And then there's something really basic, which is a great television pen. This magnetic top, ballpoint with green ink in it. Again, perfect with you know red bands. And again, Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc, yeah. I mean, it's, and the claim to fame here is it snaps in place with magnet. That's a great idea, actually. Yeah, it's very cool. So these are just. And then there's a watch that I wear on me all the time. I'll get out and just pull it. Not a watch, a, a, a pen. Look at that, the serpent. This is a design from the, you know, very, very early 1900s. It's been redone. A serpent with stones, a Mont Blanc. If you look at the Mont Blanc sales women around the world, this coral color, this is their favorite pen. Really? That they wear in the stores. Now, I dropped it once and I lost one of the, um, the eyes and it went back to Germany and got replaced. You got one little emerald. But that's my go-to pen all the time. Lovely pen. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's so light, small, fits in your pocket, that kind of thing. And I noticed you just said that they wear the pens. They wear the pen. They actually put it on the top of their, they're very conservative in dress, and they, on the top of their neckline, they put it sometimes inside with the serpent visible. Stunning. Nice. It's beautiful. And yeah, they, you, uh, rather than carry a pen, you wear a pen if right. it's a fine pen. Yeah, it's a fine pen. So they like, it's, you know, very feminine. You know, it's sort Beautiful. of um, an ominous look, but it looks terrific on a black dress. Many of them wear black Roberto dresses. Roberto Cavalli have a very similar snake serpent yes. in their sunglasses and some this of their rat, The tail is wrapped around the top of the pen. It's just Beautiful stunning. piece. I have many, many, many pens. This is just my traveling subset for the Shark Tank shoot. This is my entire collection of pens. You want to see what I yeah, have? Yeah, let's have a look. I'm not, I'm not a huge pen collector, but I have a managed That's to get... That's lacquer right there. Yes. Yeah. So this is a Fabergé Michel Peugeot pen. Wow. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Yes, I am. And um, you clearly have not used this. I have not used it. I'm scared to. Yeah, I can tell by just the way I opened it up. <laughs> totally scared to. Yeah. But um, I was offered. So it's not just. It's also the nib that matters. This is a medium. It's a beautiful. Is this that a good be, nib? Yeah, I, this I would, don't know. This about would them. be a beautiful pen to write with. Really? Yeah. I mean, it would. It's beautifully balanced. I mean, you really. You really should get some high quality ink. Mont Blanc ink would be good. They make, they make artisan inks that um, are really beautiful. They're very expensive, but they are perfect for pens like this. And, you know, start writing with this because it's such a joy and you're not really using it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm scared to use it. And this is the same pen, but this is the 
ballpoint. The yeah. ballpoint version of it. Also beautiful. But uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm told that these are, well, I forget what it is. Maybe you know what it's made of. It's etched. It's etched. It's a, it's a very complex, long, it, it's probably, it might be a lacquer, I don't know. Or is it, it's a, or a silver metal lacquered over. I don't, I don't know what it is either. Um, it, it, it's stunning. It has a three-dimensional view to it. This is obviously etched gold on the top. It's beautiful. These are great pens. Fun, right? But you're not using them. No, I'm not. And then here's another one. This yeah, one here. Let's put these inside. We don't want to drop these. This is another uh, Fabergé. Yeah. Uh, they feel great, don't yeah, they? they do. They're, they're very they're heavy. heavy. Have you yeah. felt the weight of one of these? Mm. Also oh, never wow, been. they are, aren't they? Yeah. This it's feels like it's never been used. It hasn't. Yeah, because you can tell when it's so <laughs> stiff to get off. Yeah, that's spectacular. That's a beautiful writing pen. And you know, when somebody sees you writing with this, you're making a statement. I know, I know. Like, you know. But I, I you know, I bought them, I thought, you put I'm a Jacob watch on with this pen. Like you're, you're, in, you're, you're, you're there, right? You're, yeah, you're, you're there for sure. When I, when I bought them, I thought to myself, oh, these are really nice. I'll sign contracts and big things yeah, with them. Yeah, that's what you should do. And then uh, I took them to my office and never used them. So I just put what them with everything else. There? So this is a, a gold, um, it's not plate, it's, it's solid gold. Uh, I think it's a cross. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's classic. You can't even tell it's a cross. You know, it's got the squarish cap, which is kind of cross. You know, cross is, is not as big a brand as it used to be, but that makes this even more valuable. Does it really? Mont Blanc has soaked up 80% of the pen market. Here's my Mont Blanc. Yeah. Actually, I have I have a couple more, but I have that's this watch. Yeah. yeah, it's it's you know it's also to feel how well it's made. It's and smooth, right? It's, it's very, very smooth. smooth. And then my last one is oops, Ooh. nearly <laughs> didn't have a last one. Is this? Yeah, uh, which I'm you told can't, you, is you can't drop these watches because it's lacquer. And what's unique about this is you get a different look at every light. It changes. You know, it's sort of a. This is Japanese work. Do you know this brand? I don't, but I can tell from my Japanese lacquered pens that this is, it's gotta be. What is it? I don't know. Let's have a look. <laughs> Let me put my glasses on and I will tell you it is a, uh, this is made in France. I don't, uh, I, my bet, Actually, no it doesn't. My bet is that this is actually done in Japan for a French brand. Uh, please read that because my glasses aren't strong enough to read yeah. it. But you know, Mont Blanc makes this. What is it? Jean-Pierre Le, Le Clean? This is this is a German pen Paris. made in Japan. Oh, really? Yeah, because very few artists can do this kind of work. Yeah, it's stunning. Now that probably has a never been used. A reserve, you, uh, you know, you, you basically you know, how do you fill it? I think I have it's no been idea. So long, <laughs> I have no idea. It's been so long that this has never been used because normally you'd screw it off and you'd find that you could fill up the reserve with it. It's not. I'm willing to give it a go. Let yeah, me see if I can open it. Because that's how you. This. Yeah, that's right. So now let's see this. We're gonna we're gonna find. That's how you've never done this with this pen. I don't believe so. so oh. It's a cartridge. Oh, it's a cartridge. Yeah, a standard cartridge would fit in this thing. Why don't you use this pen? It's crazy. So where do you get a cartridge from? Uh, you can buy from any uh, online supplier. This is a standard cartridge. It'll last for about a month. You just push it in and it gets pierced at the bottom. You can get many different colored inks. And when it's over, you have to clean it with just water, warm water. And then you put the next cartridge in. Well, I might just do that. Yeah, this is very easy to use. It's, it's made, it's, and it's beautiful. Look at that, that's crazy. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, we've learned something about your pens. Okay. Okay. One yeah. last thing I wanted to show you. Uh, for Shark Tank years ago, I formed a relationship with um, Deacon and Francis, bespoke in, in London, England, uh, makers of very fine um, cufflinks for men and tie pins, etc. And I asked him, I wanted to get skull cufflinks. And the first that I got from him were silver to wear with my silver watches. But why skulls, Kevin? I just... Look, look at the eyes. Watch the eyes. It just wow. reminds me of, you know, it's sobering mortality, you know? It's sort of, and I have many different sizes of them, too. Here's a smaller version. Is there something I should know about you that you're not no, telling anybody? No, I just, I just, I just <laughs> it's a reminder. And, and this, this year, cool. this year when amazing. we were talking about bringing out the AP, 
we needed something in rose gold. So I contacted him and said, look, can we make um, rose gold skulls? And again, I would like to have the diamonds in the eyes. But I want something different, and I referenced David Bowie. Remember how Bowie had a one color eye that was discolored? Yes. I met David Bowie in the island of Cyprus where his girlfriend Angie was going to the junior school with me. And so, way, way back in the, in the 60s. And so, he and I designed these together. This is a one of a kind in the world. I with, love that. With, the, with these different... That's scary, actually. They're amazing. When, you, when you close, it, it, it looks and they're, frightening. They're amazing. When, when they were, we were running out of time, so they were shipped directly to the set um, in Los Angeles. So I didn't see them until they were delivered by Artemis to me. And then he called me up the day they were going to ship and said, Kevin, every few years I make a unique skull, because I know you like skulls, for a key ring. And I, there's only been four of them made in the world, and you'll be the fifth. Would you be interested in it? You'll be one of five people, but I can't tell you who the other five are. But my plan oh, is. I love that. My plan is when COVID's over to bring the five of you together. You all know each other. You will know each other. But would you be interested in being one of the five? And I said I would be. Can I be one of the five? I think it's possible. Maybe after he sees this video. I want one. Yeah. They're amazing. What yeah. is his name? Well, he's, the, he, he's right here. Deacon. Deacon. He owns the company. Deacon. Yeah. Yeah. Deacon. New customer, please. I would like one of these. <laughs> You should have one, given I, who you are. I, I, plus your, I would love to have plus one. your, uh, your British background. Right, fits perfectly. He is a wonderful deacon, man, deacon. and um, you, you, of all the people that I think should have one, given what you do in watches and pens and style, I would be your advocate to get one of these. Thank you. I think it's around fourteen thousand pounds, but that's not what you should think about. Having one is what I should think yeah, about. And, and then, of course, you could never sell it. Of course not. Yeah. But of course not. I mean, I love this thing. It's crazy. And, and when my son saw it, you could wear it around your neck as a pen. Yeah, you too, could. Right? But my son saw it on my key ring and he said, Dad, where did you get that? I want one. I said, Trevor, you're going to have to wait till I'm dead till I get <laughs> like this before you ever get it. Oh, that's that's, funny. But it, I love it. I just, everywhere I go, like last night I had dinner in LA with a friend. And he just went nuts for this thing. That's beautiful. And he had the same reaction you did. He said, I have to have one. I want one. Yeah. I want one. So Mr. Deacon is really kicking it with this. So Mr. Deacon, you have to share <laughs> his, his number with me. Yeah, I, absolutely. He's a wonderful guy. He's a wonderful guy. I and he did such a great job for Shark Tank. They love him. But anyways, that's awesome. sort of my world of, you know, fashion, watches, cufflinks, you name it. And I have so enjoyed hanging out with you. Me too. Yeah. Me too. This has been wonderful. And it, Show that we're COVID savvy. Right. You know, yeah. It. Although we both don't have it. But yeah, I know, but, but, there's but there's a, we're tested and we're, we're, we're cool with but, it. But still keeping up the protocol, the yeah. elbow bump. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, thank you again. Don't forget to put these away. Guys, I hope you enjoyed these three videos three right did we do three yeah that's number three three they're just amazing we, we, we had so many pieces out here i know I and, know. and I, I i love your stuff and i just like i love I like yours too yeah, and, I, and i just may say I, I have no guilt about this you should i know, have I know guilt. it's an addiction but i have no guilt no oh, hey you I work celebrate hard. the art I, you work hard yeah, you're entitled to treat yeah. yourself i work uh, hard you so give i can plenty i do i also do yeah. you know people say oh you shouldn't have this you could feed so many families right. well guess what we do and we uh, also feed the watchmakers. We also feed the watchmakers. Because, yeah, you know, somebody some. said to me the other day, why do you need a watch? You have your phone. It's far more accurate. And I said, I want to support the thousands of men and women that keep this art alive. Good point. That's Never it. thought of that, actually. Yeah. But that's also That's it. So I, true. I'll take the criticism. I'm happy. And for all of you that hate my red bands, I don't care. <laughs> Guys, hope you enjoyed this. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. We're in it to win it. Did yeah. we win it? I think we did. I think we won it. It was absolutely spectacular. See ya.